Welcome back to Deaton Street. I'm Dustin and he's Zach. And Apple Intelligence is out for developers only in beta. Uh, but apparently Zach is a developer and he's got his hands on it. Yeah. So woke up this morning and decided I want to start developing iPhone apps. At least that's what I checked on the website in order to get access to the beta. Well, before we get into all of that mismatch, whatever it is, uh, head down below the video, like, and subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Uh, so yeah, Zach, tell me about the iOS or the Apple intelligence sections of iOS. Yeah. So I already had an iPhone 15 pro. I woke up today, felt like, you know, I, I guess I'd need to become a developer. Uh, so I became a developer and got access to the beta, uh, like any good tech channel would. So we're going to yeah. look through some of the most highly anticipated, at least some of our most highly anticipated features, of course, including Apple intelligence, uh, but before we get into that, we'll do a quick recap of some of the stuff that they've announced, some of the stuff we're going to look into, and then we'll transition to some type of a uh, top-down look at my iPhone. Oh, fancy. Uh, yeah, and do some tests. Yeah. So starting out, the writing tools. So like the ability to like proofread text with Apple Intelligence, summarize text, and rewrite different versions of like let's say a, a text you're sending out or maybe an email that you're sending out, you know, it'll kind of correct those, maybe fix some grammar issues here and there. Yeah. Along with the writing, we're also going to look into some of the email stuff as well, kind of grouped in with the writing. We'll look at like the summarize email, that type of thing. Uh, in the next main area, the big piece that we were most excited about, we've been talking about for like a year, it feels like, mm -hmm. is the Siri improvements. So with that, we have an all new, beautiful design uh, for Siri. And I will say it is beautiful and it's cool. And I felt like good. a, I, I felt like a true tech wizard when I said Siri and like my phone did the, it's cool. It's also supposed to have richer language understanding. So the ability to say, uh, mm, uh, and, and still get a decent response from Siri. I have mm -hmm. tested that out today. I'll be interested to show my results on camera. Uh, personal context. So it's supposed to be able to understand some of the personal context. So one of the examples that Apple gave on the website is if a friend sends you a recipe, but you don't know where he sent you the recipe. So we'll test that out. We'll have Dustin send me a recipe and we'll try to see if it can contextualize and find it in my phone and finally take an action in and across apps. So gone are the days where Siri was walled off from all of your iPhone apps. Supposedly now she can get inside your apps and she can make some changes and do some things. We'll see. Uh, before we jump into that though, I do want to say to be fair to Apple, this is a very early beta. This is a developer beta, so it's not even public beta yet. Mm -hmm. And so by the time 18.1 comes out, I imagine these features will be better than they are today. But why don't we take a look at them today? Mm -hmm. So we swapped to a top-down video of Zach's phone here. Um, and we're going to kind of go through a couple of things that uh, he's been playing with uh, and a couple of things that we hope are going to work out pretty well. So the first thing we mentioned before was the writing tools. So like proofreading texts, uh, summarizing text, rewriting different versions of text. So when we select all, it's you have a couple different options here. You have proofread, you have rewrite, and you have this just fancy Apple intelligence button. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit proofread first. And it does find two different things that are wrong with it. So missing punctuation twice. So we will go ahead and allow that to change. Added the punctuation. Now we do have to hit select all again. Mm -hmm. We can say rewrite. Actually doesn't look like it made any changes. You were just too good, bro. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, no, that's a... Revert. It looks significant. Yeah. Rewrite. Oh, huh. so instead of did you, it says have you. Okay. So here's the interesting thing. So before it said, did you complete the text? But now the rewrite of Apple Intelligence is have you ever completed that script you were supposed to finish for DS? We're planning to shoot that this Friday, and I'd like to review it before then. So. In the context of the text, have you ever is not great. It's just pretty much plain wrong. It's like, have you ever in your entire life <laughs> yeah. ever yeah. done a script ever? So on this, we're going to go back to the original. 
Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to hit done. And then I just want to see what this button does. Do it. And oh, okay. So now it brings up your writing tools page. And I will open that. Well, that looks like so it. you have options of proofread, rewrite, a friendly tone, a professional tone, a concise tone. You can summarize it. You can grab key points. Apparently you can make a list or a table, which is cool. Let's go ahead and make this sound a little bit more friendly. Hey, did you ever get around to finishing the script you were working for on for DS? We're planning to shoot it this Friday and I'd love to review it before then. That's more friendly. That's pretty cool. So let's go, let's go to the original here and we're going to hit done. We'll hit go back there and then we're just going to go to a more professional. Yeah. I need the ghoul. Okay, here you go. So apparently professional it's to like Apple. A business email. Apparently a professional to Apple means longer. Yeah. Hello. I hope you are doing well. I am writing to inquire about the status of the script you were assigned to complete for DS. We are scheduled to shoot the film this Friday, and I would love to review the script beforehand. Please let me know if you have any updates or if you require further assistance. Thank you for your attention to the matter. I mean, that's basically a business email, which is good. You know, if you, if you have trouble writing those, yeah. it sounded, you know, fairly decent for what it was. Uh, uh, so it, let's, let's do it. It's a bit, yeah. Concise. Yeah. Okay. Oh, interesting. So I have to revert it. Oh, so it, it can, uh. it made the, the, the business concise. Oh, dang. So this is interesting. Now I'm stuck with my old. Oh gosh! No, I'll just paste the... your other one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you had that one copied in the clipboard. Okay. So, we'll, we'll paste. We'll go back to the original here. There we go. Boom. We're gonna select all. We're gonna go into here, and then we're gonna just do concise and see what it says. Oof. All right. So now it says, "Did you finish that DS script? We'll shoot it this Friday. Can you proof it before then?" Okay. So there's some interesting things here. It changed context. Yeah, yeah, it did. The last question wasn't supposed to be, can you prove it before then? It was, I would like to prove it before then. Yeah. Okay. So, interesting test. I think that that showed us some things. Yeah. Uh, again, I would like to say that this is very early. Uh, yeah. All right. I just sent you both of those recipes. One, meatloaf during, uh, via text and... A gumbo recipe, which I probably do not agree with. I found it online. It's probably not as authentic as it needs to be, but it's just some ingredients. Uh, but I sent that to you through email. So, Okay, so what we're going to test here is the personal context of Siri. So we'll, we'll see if it works. Uh, so essentially, we're just going to ask Siri to find those recipes. So, hey, Siri. Can you pull up the gumbo recipe that Dustin sent to me? Okay. I found this on the web for gumbo recipe that sent to me. Check it out. Okay. Oof. Well, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Try it again. I'm not in. Let me, let me type in my password. Hey Siri, can you pull up the gumbo recipe that Dustin sent to me? Okay. I found this on the web for gumbo recipe that sent to mm. me. Check it out. Hey Siri, Dustin sent me a meatloaf recipe. Can you pull it up? Here are five videos matching meatloaf recipe can. Oh. Okay, so I haven't we're, read the text message yet. Let me read the text, we're still text in message. Beta. Okay. Alrighty, so we'll, we'll delete that. We have to keep reminding ourselves we're still in beta. Very much in beta. Hey Siri. Dustin sent me a meatloaf recipe. Can you pull that up? Here are five videos matching meatloaf recipe mm. can. What, what if, and I know this is like counterintuitive, but like what if you gave it a little bit more, like asked it to pull up the, the recipe that I sent you via text or something? Hey Siri, Dustin sent me a meatloaf recipe through text messages. Can you pull that up? Send it or change no. it. Send it. Done. Well, okay. So, uh, for, 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 
for that, I'd say, you know, personal context isn't fully there. Yeah. Um, what's the, what's our next one? So, and, and this is just kind of going on the bulleted list here, the all new design, you're seeing it right there with the highlighted border, you know, activated Siri that that's cool. Uh, it's the other one was the richer language understanding. Uh, we just kind of tested that a little bit there. I do want um, to, I do want to test this. So okay. I found this today. Uh, I don't know if this is with your phone, so we can test it on your phone and then we'll test it on mine real quick. Okay. Are you able to give your phone a grocery list? Uh, I've never tried, but I probably can. Yeah. Go, try to make a list for groceries. Hey Siri, make a grocery list for me. Sorry, I can't help with that. Okay. Hey Siri. It, 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 add the following items to my grocery list. Bananas, cucumbers, bread. I added cucumbers to the grocery list list. Oof. Hey Look Siri. Mm -hmm. Add the following items to the grocery list. What do you want to be reminded about? Banana. Okay. Bread. You gotta be fast, okay. apparently. Chips. Bread. Okay. Okay. I added chips to the grocery list. Fish. A fish is an aquatic, an amniotic, pill bearing vertebrate animal with swimming fins and a hard <laughs> skull, but lacking limbs with digits. Do you want me to keep reading? <laughs> no. Interesting. <laughs> Hey Siri, am I busy on August 5th? Well, it just pulled up my calendar thing. Okay. It didn't like read it to me, but it pulled the correct thing. Hey Siri, am I busy on August 31st? On August 31st, you have two events. All day August 31st, 2024. TXST versus Lamar, and from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., you have Texas State football versus Lamar. That's everything. Can you add something to my calendar for Friday, August 29th? What's the name of the new event? Record Deaton Street with Dustin Mallet. When should I schedule it for? 6.30 p.m. Record Deaton Street with Dustin Mallet is scheduled for 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. tomorrow. It's on your zatchwexels at gmail.com calendar. Can you send that as a calendar invite to Dustin Mallet? The event for tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. is now called Record Deaton Street with Dustin Mallet with Dustin Mallet. Uh, and I would like to point out that the uh, series stop listening. So right there, we asked it to make an event for Friday, August 30 or 29th. It did mm -hmm. it for tomorrow instead. Yeah. So it's got some issues. Yeah. So anything else on the list? Um, I think that was pretty much it as far as Apple intelligence goes. Okay. Well, uh, we'll do. Yeah. All right. So since we don't have anything else, we'll do one last thing. Hey, Siri, turn off my phone. Just to confirm. You want to power off this device? Yes. All right. So those were some tests. Obviously, there were some issues with that test. But the important thing to know is that this is a beta. This is not the final version that is going to ship out. And Apple Intelligence is not even going to be included when iPhones are shipped. This is actually going to be an 18.1, iOS 18.1. So they're not even shipping it with it. That means they need a little bit more time to develop this. That's something we've been saying on this channel for a while. Don't expect this in the fall. Expect mm -hmm. the full rollout early next year. Uh, but with that, I think, you know, we do see a mixed bag in the test, right? Some very, very cool features, some features that are going to be incredibly promising if they work, but they just kind of aren't working yet, right? Mm -hmm. Again, it's beta. Uh, I agree. Like the, the features are cool. The, 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 the text, um, customization kind of deal mm -hmm. where you can change the, what is it? The, 
the oh, different versions of your text, right? The business, the personal, or the friendly, or the 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 concise version. Although there were those little bitty like nuanced little details that it did kind of change up there, and you have to be careful for, about at this time. It lets us see a glimpse into the future of the things that they could fix and make it even better, you know. So like I'm. I'm not one to sit there and like write out business emails like super <laughs> yeah. you know nice and legit. Uh I, I get it, it's okay. But if I could have that and then okay, do a business uh version of this thing I'm trying to send out to a client, well then absolutely I'll do that all day. Like that's awesome. Yeah. And again, we're grading on a on a scale here, right? Because this is not meant for public consumption. But yeah. if you compare what this can do right now with what Grammarly has been doing for quite a few years. Grammarly is still better. But again, yeah. this is not the final version. So uh, I imagine it's going to get a lot better. The yeah. series stuff, I think for me, is the most concerning. Yeah. Not in the sense that it's it's bad now because you know it, it kind of is still bad. Uh, just in the sense that it seems like it has a lot to overcome to get where mm-hmm. they were promising. And maybe Apple will surprise us and they will overcome those issues. But uh, as... The test showed it, there's still some funny stuff going on with Siri to the point where we're, you know, it's, I asked it's it to comical. put, <laughs> I asked it to put fish on my grocery store yes. list and it, it told me what a fish is. So Siri's yeah. still Siri, it seems. Fishes don't have digits either, <laughs> by the way. Is that what it said? If, it didn't have digits? Oh yeah. It didn't have digits or, or hands or feet or whatever. Uh, don't know if you knew that, but Siri does. Um, I, I, I want it to be more than just Siri reading something back to me like it was doing for you because I tested it on my end with, you know, I have the 13 Pro Max um, and it would just, for the calendar thing, it just pulled up my thing. It didn't like, oh, you had this on this day. Um, it, I, I, I mean, it probably will be more. Again, we're going to say it till we're blue in the face on this one. The way everybody knows, this is beta. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so um, I, I, where it's at compared to where the writing tools are, you know, like it, the writing yeah. tools are a little ahead of the Siri stuff. They may be focusing on different things before other things. We don't know. It's app. They, I'm sure they got it figured out. I'm sure they have a timeline and a calendar date for different things that they can ask Siri to pull up for them now. You know. Yeah, I, I think the long and short of it is a ton of promise. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's coming from this. I am, I'm enjoying playing around with it. It's a new toy, right? Just yeah. to, to have and kind of to use the calendar stuff. I think it's going to be good. Uh, if they can fix, you know, I asked it to put it on one day, put it on another day. It kind of defeats the purpose of asking Siri to do calendar stuff, but mm-hmm. you know, it, it should get better, right? It, sh- it, it should, should get better. Uh, the last thing before we leave, I, I I do want to remind everyone or remind you, I I don't think you had an Xbox, but I had an Xbox when we lived together Mm -hmm. that had voice commands. And one of the the things about the Xbox that was funny is that you could tell other people's Xbox to turn off Mm -hmm. while they were playing a game. Mm -hmm. That feature apparently is in iPhones. I didn't know that was coming, that you could turn that phone off with Siri. I don't think that's good. Just, we should have that. (laughs) We should have that. I don't want people to be like, Hey Siri, turn me off. Are you sure? Yes. And then it would just like activate everybody's phone around you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something that I hope that if maybe it was just a bug and it was showing me that feature, but it's not really a feature. Although it did turn it off, it looked like, but it turned Uh, right back on for some reason. It's, it's weird, but hopefully they'll take that out or it'll be, you know, fixed. I don't know. Well, let us know your thoughts down below. Let us know what you thought about all the Apple intelligence stuff, the new beta uh, iOS 18, um, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. See ya. I'm